Hello, I'm Valentin Mandacci, the architectural historian, and today I'm in the village of Kertz, Kurzai in Romania, on the northern slopes of the Transylvanian Alps, Fragrash Mountains, between uh, Sibiu and Brasov. It's the easternmost uh, Cistercian Abbey. You see here is the cloister, and this is the entrance of the cathedral. It used to have a rosette with stained glass and this Gothic portal. Set up uh, just uh, two years before the Fourth Crusade. It's part of the western push to the eastern frontier. Over here in Transylvania and over the mountain, it was later will become the Principality of Olechia, we had a geopolitical void. Uh, Transylvania was settled by the Hungarian, the medieval Hungarian kingdom. In Olechia, uh, future view Olechia, on the other side of the mountains, uh, we had uh, a void created by the conquest of Bulgaria by Basil II of Constantinopolis, the Bulgar Octon. So it was basically an empty land, open land, frontier land for the Western civilization, for the Western Church. Uh, it marks even today the influence of civilization over here, what is now Romania, which is a kind of articulation point between East and West. It's interesting that the Abbey Abbey will not resist too much, it will be a victim of the Tatar invasion of 1241 of Genghis and Batu Khan and uh, later on the Ottoman attacks uh, and it is taken over by the local Saxon community in the 15th century but as I said it imprints even today the civilization of the area. The Western civilization and the Western church has even a more eastern push in Brasov, which is the German Kronstadt, with the setup of uh, the Black Church Cathedral, which is the easternmost Gothic cathedral of mainland Europe. It's a statement of identity, of Western identity, in competition with the renewed Bulgarian, Second Bulgarian Empire on, in the south, which was, had a very ambitious program of building up Orthodox churches Byzant in a Byzantine manner, of course. And uh, Brasov is a representative of that competition. But it starts with what you see here, this kind of glorious remains. Architecturally, of course, it's enormously important. Even today, in the local architecture, you see its influence. So I hope that you found interesting this short expose, and I invite you to come over here to feel the genius of the place and its heavy history, history for this part of Europe, for its eastern most part of Europe. Thank you, and bye-bye.